Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be exploring rhythm and uh, developing rhythm using rhythmic based effects and modulation. And this video doesn't really have a, uh, like a core subject or technique. It's very broad. And I just kind of want to demonstrate how I go about doing things. So I have uh, just a simple uh, drum machine with simple drum loop, super simple. I have that going. Uh, so I want to add something that is uh, both, it, it changes, but it's rhythmic. When I mean rhythmic, it repeats, but um, there's complexity to the repeating nature, and it repeats at uh, varying cycles. So there's, uh, yeah, there's a rhythm there. So let's uh, just uh, drop in an arbitrary note, and let's get in some serum and i'm going to use some white noise for this i'll just uh mute this hit play all right so this is the uh, the default white noise in serum i want something you know from a you know a machine of sorts all right so this is the, you know our 2600 white noise why not all right so the, the first stage of rhythm is to establish, you know, some sort of base um, thing that's going on. And what works in techno is 16ths, and I'm going to use that just for the sake of, um, um, you know, keeping it, um, it's, it's a good basis for what's going on. So I'm going to drop in the arpeggiator. And the arpeggiator is a really cool tool because you can have um, just one long note, and then you can split it up into a different kind of, um, you know, it's kind of like you're gating it, but it's uh, repeated. And you don't need to use the arpeggiated uh, arpeggiation um, uh, module or section here. You can just kind of do this. Let's set it to 16ths. So it's doing that. And we can adjust the length of that note. Right, And that would be a, a pretty cool thing to automate if we were uh, adventurous enough. And uh, one thing I want to do before we continue here... Uh, by default, um, Serum's uh, noise isn't mapped to any uh, amplifier envelope, right? You actually have to do that manually. So envelope one, envelope one is always, it's always uh, for the amplitude of oscillator A and B. Um, it's not by default to the noise or the sub as far as I know. So we have to kind of do that. So we did that, right? And we can, you know, get the release here. And uh, things like that. So now we can do some cool stuff like this. All right. So uh, we can automate that, and then that could uh, achieve some sort of rhythmic evolving thing there. So let's uh, let's save these things into uh, something that we can affect later. All right. So I'm going to group this, that, and that, and I'm going to open up this little macro control here, and I want to map the gate to a uh, macro one. And it automatically is mapped to gate, so I have this here. So this is just easily at my disposal um, as I'm building my uh, chain of whatever I'm doing. All right, so let's get some other things in there. So we need to take a look at, um, well, a filter, because filters are used quite a bit. Um, and let's get the noise. Uh, route into that by selecting N. So we got this. And uh, yeah, this might be a little bit quiet, but we'll just boost it up there. All right, let's get that uh, 18, a little bit of a steeper cut off there. All right, a little bit of clickiness there. I don't want that. I want to give it a bit of a release on the envelope. Right? So if you hear clickiness, you don't want that because once you start processing and things like that, you'll hear that click and it's really annoying. Like, listen to this. Right? So always add a little bit of a release. If you still hear it, um, your attack might be a little bit too quick, like so. Right? So, so we want to kind of do that. It doesn't really apply to white noise, but you want a little bit of a, a little bit of a, like a, you know, rise in the amplitude so you don't get that click, especially if you have uh, an oscillator and the phase is not um, um, perfectly aligned to uh, the zero crossing. 
All right, so let's uh, get this uh, rhythmic. So I'm going to map alpha 1 to the cutoff, and uh, I have this like so. All right, so that's a good uh, range. I'm going to hold shift, and uh, right now it's set to an arbitrary rate. Don't worry about the, what the rate is doing uh, right now. But yeah, let's just draw in some stuff. Right, I'm holding shift, and I'm drawing in, and uh, that is uh, being affected by the grid. Oh, not that one. So maybe I'll have like that. All right, that's all well and good, but it's a little bit too fast, so I'll set that to um, half a bar. Just give it a try. All right, so what does that sound like with uh, the uh, little kick in question, just so we get like a, a reference of what we're doing? All right, not that good. I think the, uh, the filter needs to open here and things like that. So I'm introducing some like random, perceivably random, but it's um, it's rhythmic, so it's like restarting. All right, so there, there, there's a good example of, you know, some sort of some sort of rhythm that works with the uh, the kick and bass and things like that in question. Let's take it uh, a little step further. So I want this to be something similar, but uh, like kind of hovering around the zero crossing area. So I'm going to have this, but I'm going to have it set to a bar. So this one is set to half a bar. This one is set to a bar. And I want to have this, let's try to the pan. So we have something that's um, playing around with the stereo, which isn't it doesn't add to the the rhythmic notion of it, but it makes it more interesting, in my opinion. All right, uh, let's get uh, something else on that cutoff, and yeah, I want maybe something like that. All right, so let's get some like so maybe. All right, see what I'm doing here is, is I, I have another um, kind of um, LFO on the cutoff. All right, maybe, maybe not that. So I'm going to remove uh, the modulation from LFO 3. I'm going to try something else. Uh, I'm going to try pitch. All right, so we're getting... We're getting somewhere with that. I'm just going to uh, mute the uh, kick here. Maybe you can rise that up. Oops. Come on, dog. There we go. All right, so we got something going on there. Right, it goes, does its thing, and then it goes down, and it comes up. Right, and that could be a, that could be part of the like the bass rhythm or something. You never know. And let's rise that, kind of curve that up. Let's uh, let's see what we got here. Let's do some, you know, kind of a little bit of processing and things. Cool. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to add another another layer of something that will add uh, rhythm, and I'm going to use a. No, I'm going to use a. I got confused here. I want a ping pong delay. Um, Ableton 10, the beta, the, 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 the delay is different in the new uh, version of Ableton. So we have uh, this thing here. I'm going to bring down the feedback, and I'm actually going to increase and max out the wet dry. Now listen to this. All 
All right, so we, so we have that. I'm actually going to group that and do its own uh, group. I'm going to add a chain. So um, I have this 100% wet, and I have this uh, dry. I'm going to mix in the dry signal. And uh, from here, I can yeah kind of process the, uh, the the wet signal. All right, that sounds pretty cool. Right, a little bit too. Uh, loud there but we're we're getting we're getting somewhere okay uh let's uh let's explore a little bit more so we're we're getting we're getting getting some like we're just trying stuff out and that's the general kind of idea uh, I'm using a compressor after this uh, audio chain, which I'm basically using to kind of split up the audio and then merge it back together. Yeah, the wet and the dry, and to add a little bit of uh, processing to the the delay. Uh, and this compressor will, in turn, boost the delay line a little bit. And uh, you just kind of bring it up to a uh, a commercial kind of value. Gonna add in an EQ three, and uh, get rid of that low end schmutz. And uh, let's see what it kind of um, let's see what it sounds like. Wherever I am, uh, yeah, let's get an LFO tool on there just for the sake of getting it, getting it popping. All right. So that's that's a that's a nice little I guess basis of um, something, and it's a it's a texture that will be added alongside like other textures, and yeah, um, where do we go from here? We can do uh, we can do all sorts of stuff, um, even I guess. We can configure the cutoff uh, to be controllable by a macro two. Or the little rise up uh, isn't really working for me, so I'm gonna do that. All right, so uh, let's. Let's get, um, oh yeah, that's cool. Let's uh, hit configure. So what I'm doing is I'm configuring Ableton to talk to uh, certain parameters within Serum, the LFO smooth, which would be, uh, I guess we'll call that um, filter. Filter rhythm, filter R, filter rhythm, just something that I uh, will look at and be like, oh, that's what it does. Filter rhythm um, smooth, which uh, has an effect. And then um, pitch. Yeah, we'll, we'll name this, uh, wait, I actually have to get that in there. So I'll go uh, configure, click on smooth, hit not configure, 
and then I'll map this to LFO4, and this will be a, a pitch rhythm smooth, just as a, a sake for the for the sake of example. Okay, um, we have all that ready to go. I'm assuming, yeah, that's what's this? Okay, so yeah, the gate and then the release. Yeah, I want that release in there. And that's that's basically basically it. And I'll map this to macro five and that will be gate and then uh, gate release. I'll just I'll just name it that. Uh, gate. Uh I'll, I'll, uh, note. I'll I'll name this note length and then I'll name this note release and this will be red and this will be red and this will be green and then this will be blue so what we have here is we have no that's not blue okay another blue so we've got uh the lfo effects here filter cutoff uh overall filter cutoff here uh note length and note release okay so let's um Let's do a let's do a thing, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so uh, yeah, we got uh, we got these here. I will drag those in to our arrangement view. Oh, and the release needs to be like that. Actually, yeah, let's uh, right click. And we'll edit MIDI map here. No, 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 no. Oops. E map. No, not key. I want to edit this. Uh, I am trying to figure this out. It's not letting me. I just want to set the, the maximum. I forget how to do that. My brain. Do I do this? No, all right, I'm not going to be, oh, there it is. Okay, so the uh, note release, I, I don't want to have at zero because we get that click, right? So the absolute zero will be this. There. All right, so even at zero, it won't go to absolute zero, so that's good. Okay, let me uh, just make this uh, longer here and... Get the get the loop going, and then I yeah, get rid of all that there. Oops, get rid of all that there. And get rid of that. Okay, so everything lives within here, and it's all controllable throughout here. So let's get ooh, let's get uh, some something going on here. All right, I'll turn on automation, and then I guess at the release it will at the end it'll kind of rise up. Cool. And actually, I'll leave. I'll leave that. I'll put that in a new automation lane here. And uh, note, note length. Um, see, I'm I'm working within a grid here. Let's see what we got. Uh, a little bit longer. All right, so that's that's subtle. I'm actually going to select that and then duplicate that over. And um, let's see what this does. Yeah, let's let's get this in here. No, wait, I have to go back in. All right, so I'm gonna have all these automation lanes within here, and the filter smooth maybe at the end, like that. Let's see what that sounds like. A little bit too much. Right? You hear that? It's we're getting we're getting somewhere. All right. And then yeah, let me uh, get that to a lane. So you have everything in a lane.
Cool. Okay, so... Oh, yeah. I always forget. Did I... Yep. Yeah, add that to a lane. So the filter cutoff is, uh, you know, also important. I want the filter cutoff to be... I want it to be open during that part because it kind of goes down. That's a little bit too much. And so I'll bring that down. Nice. Turn off LFO tool for now. Nice, nice. Okay. Um, change plan. I'm going to I'm gonna duplicate this, and I'm gonna get my uh, oops, my cutoff. I changed. I want to reset that. I want I want this cutoff to do some things. Want that at the end, right? We're getting into we're getting into some kind of advanced thing. Not really advanced, but uh, whatever. We're getting into the the rhythmic aspect of it. So check all this out. Right. So we got got something cool in there and it's uh it's 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 interesting and it's uh it's rhythmic all right so let's get a uh, kick in there and that's all that's all uh lfos within serum and uh automation it's just how many things it's just one two three four five things that we're automating uh within a uh, effects rack so let's uh let's hit play with the lfo tool on to be a little bit more aggressive maybe nice okay so let's um you know i would add a little bit more uh, uh, processing after that, just to give it a little bit more depth, um, because you know that's what we do. That's what we do here. And maybe a maybe a just a, a gentle uh, delay, just to kind of pull. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. Oops. Yeah, gentle delay. So it sounds like a lot of things. It sounds almost like percussive, and uh, yeah, it's just white noise. And that's that for that video. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you learned stuff. Um, take care, and have a good one.